Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We're going to do a National League preview. We're going to run through quickly all three divisions, see who Brian's top choice is, who's maybe long shot, second choice. Go from there. Let's start with National League East. I think this one we're going to be in complete agreement on the winner, and everybody else in the free world is going to agree on this one as well. Well, it's interesting. Coming into the season, everybody loved Washington. Washington had the highest win total, 93 or 93 and a half. Every single day, another one of their players gets hurt. Uh, they may be down to uh, a situation where they might even make the playoffs. Unfortunately, yeah. they play in this division, so they still will make the playoffs. They still will win this division, mm -hmm. but they're dropping like flies in Washington. Uh, the injury bug will kill anybody, but they were so deep to start with in the pitching, the pitching alone. I, I mean, it's the best starting staff in baseball. Um, I, I just don't see anybody getting close to them. Um, my second choice, and you know, maybe some people go back and forth, uh, the Mets have been showing some signs of life. Um, I think they're the ones that's going to make the next step. I like their young starting pitching. I still think the bullpen is, you know, I'm not sold on the bullpen yet. Uh, they got to shore that up, but Mets my second choice in that division. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, the only thing holding the Mets back, I would say, would be management. Uh, are they willing to bring these young guys up and get them started on their, you know, we saw the same thing with Chris Bryant and the Cubs. I mean, the, the Mets Did anybody really think they were going to bring him up on opening day? No. I, I can't believe that that was such a discussion for so long. For two weeks, they're they're not gonna they're not gonna lose a year. Yeah, they're doing they're doing the right, right. thing. Yeah. Unlike you know, it was a little bit different last year. The Pirates lost almost a half a season before they brought up Polanco. Polanco, right? You know, and it you know it almost cost them the playoffs. Um, but then they end up would they've had would they've actually won the division if they would have brought him up earlier? Well, the Pirates are financially not in the same boat as the Cubs. Absolutely. Um, let's go to that division. National League Central, a lot of buzz on the Cubs. St. Louis is always there. My Pirates finally have become relevant the last two years. Who wins that division? I like the Pirates. I really like the Pirates this year. Uh, St. Louis is one of those aging teams. They do have some quality younger players, but they have had some injury problems. Uh, Michael Walker should be coming back this year, and he's looked terrific so far in spring training. Um, I think St. Louis grabs a wild card, but I like the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're my long shot. I yep, think we're, we're actually going to agree here. Maybe it's a little bit of hometown. Um, I do have concerns on the Pirates starting pitching staff. I mean, you've got Cole that's, you know, going to be the stud. Francisco Lariano, as long as he stays healthy, will be okay. After that, we're going to wait and see what happens. We've got a lot of question marks there. Worley, I, I just, you know... If Worley has a, anything near what he had last year, the Pirates win this division, I feel, easily. I'm just, there's too many. A.J. Burnett and, and Worley, there, there's a lot of question marks. And as I said in our other videos, they're going to miss Russell Martin. But I think this team's going to score more runs this year that's going to compensate for a little bit of a, you know, increase in ERA, overall team ERA. Well, they got a great pitching coach. Uh, he's done wonders with the guys that have been there in the past, and, and they've got some guys on the minors that are one step away from making it uh, a, a real addition to the rotation for the Pirates. So I, I think I, I happen to like the depth. They got some experience, as you mentioned, AJ Burnett. Uh, happy to be back in Pittsburgh. Um, I like this Pirates team, uh, and of course St. Louis. I have for you know second. They're they're always going to be there. And you talk about management, where you said the Mets. You don't like the management. You've got to like the management of St. Louis. They're, they're like the New England Patriots of there. football. Um, you go out west, okay, foregone conclusion, it's the Dodgers division. Nobody's going to come close. I, I agree. Um, I think the Dodgers win by at least 10 games in that division. Um, we're going to do, um, do you have another wild card other than uh, St. Louis? Well, like the Mets? I, I have uh, St. Louis is one of the wild cards with you. It's going to come down to the Mets, and I have San Francisco in the other slide. I still think San Francisco, um, they just find a way to get the most out of what they got. I know some people like San Diego, and then a lot of people are just falling in love with the Cubs, but the Cubs I still think are a year away. I'll take the Cubs to win a wild card spot here. Uh, once we get to the playoffs, who's your National League uh, winner? Uh, if Washington can get healthy, I, they're, they're going to, that pitching staff, in a seven-game pitching 
you know, throwing all those big guns out there. I know you got Kershaw and Grinky, you know, in L.A., but um, I would like to see Washington in L.A. match up at full strength. I am going to take Pittsburgh as a long shot. I saw them at 24 to 1 to win the World Series. Um, most of the places are at 20 to 1. I think they've got a chance here. Uh, I think that overall in the season, I think Washington and the Dodgers are going to win more games. But I wouldn't. I think there's some value on Pittsburgh winning the winning the, uh, the National League. I w if they win the Central and they get that full playoff series instead of having to do that stupid one game play in, because if you got to go to the, you know, it's you're you're at a coin flip. You're really and you don't. The problem with that one game, Brian, and it's my pet peeve on this is if that team's got to fight right down to the last day of the season, you can't even set up your rotation right. to try to have your ace because if you need that game on Sunday to get to that play-in game, you're burning your ace. Well, on, Pittsburgh on won't have to worry about it this year. They're going to win that. Championship. All right, let's do it. All right, that's the National League preview. Uh, be sure to follow all season long, wagertalk.com, all of the handicappers. we got some guys that absolutely kill it in baseball and love it. Uh, that's Brian's favorite sport, and, you know, uh, it's been one of my favorites. I know it was a big favorite of mine back in 2010 when we had that big streak. So uh, check everything out, wagertalk.com. One more, let's preview the American League up next, wagertalk.com.